Uh, one of the concerns uh, we, why we are setting up this treatment plant is because of the quality of water. Uh, we took samples from the river, measured the turbidity of the water. It was 347 NTU and as you may know WHO recommends uh, a turbidity of less than 5. The other concern is that we expect a lot of uh, microbial contaminants in this water and also color. Actually that is the reason we are doing this. Uh, one way of treating color and turbidity is by introducing flocculation and coagulation. And at this point, we are dosing a polyelectrolyte dosing point. So we have uh, the dosing of the chemical into the main line. Um, what happens is that um, the coagulant will destabilize the charges of the particles, then bring them together. For this to happen, we need to ensure very thorough mixing. And that is why we've installed the static mixers. So as the water comes from the intake, it is mixed using these static mixers. So we have zigzag pipe. So you have a very thorough mixing to ensure that the chemical mixes up with the water. From there, it goes into the settlement tank. So as the water settles, the sludge will form down and clear water will overflow on the top. That water will go to the second tank and the third tank. Uh, I took a liberty of uh, taking a sample. So this is what will be happening in the, chemi in the sedimentation tank. All the flocks will settle. As you can see, we have sludge at the bottom and clear water on the top. So this water will go into the second tank, then through the filtration and uh, to the clean water tank. After the treatment, I expect the turbidity to be less than five. I expect the coliforms and the E. coli to be nil. Uh, that is basically will be good for consumption.